What if I told you that this letter is from the IRS and upon opening it, it claims that you owe $50,000 in back taxes? Panic mode, right? But hold up, you're a diligent tax filer. You've always meticulously dotted your I's and even crossed your T's. So could it be true? Likely, it's probably not. This is what we call an IRS scam. Let's talk about it. Hello and welcome back to How to Get Hacked Without Even Trying, the show where we keep you safe from scams. So you've just received a letter or a notice from the IRS claiming that you owe a large sum of money. Granted, in the rare occasion, there could be some truth to this. However, I'm almost certain that this has probably come out of the blue for you and feels a little unusual. I mean, I'm no tax police, but I can almost say for certain that this is a very common way that scammers try to trick law-abiding taxpayers into supplying them with money. I think we all can agree that any kind of letter from the IRS is borderline terrifying. If you're anything like me, you've already generated this image in your head of exactly what that worst case scenario may look like for you. And to make matters worse, mail may not be the only way that an IRS scam approaches you. Other forms of communication include email and even text. To better prepare you for a potential IRS scam and even an impending panic attack, let's take a look at some of the signs and solutions for dealing with an IRS scam. The first indication of a legit IRS notice are identification numbers known as CP or TLR numbers. These numbers indicate the type of notice and can be found at the top or bottom corners of a notice. An authorized IRS representative can use this number and a few other identifiers to better determine if the notice is legitimate. Number two, IRS notices are typically non-threatening, meaning that they will never list a series of threats such as jail time within the notice. Remember, a scam feeds off emotion. This is specially designed so that you won't think twice before forfeiting money. Number three, in an attempt to inform the taxpayer, legitimate IRS notices will always include a section containing your rights as a taxpayer, as well as helpful information concerning actions such as an appeal. The last thing a scammer wants to do is to provide you with information that may redirect your attention elsewhere. Number four, should for any reason you have to pay the IRS, you'll be provided instructions on how to submit payments via online or by mail. A scammer will attempt to persuade you to pay using third-party websites, wire transfers, and even gift cards. Legitimate IRS notices will recommend you pay using an IRS payment portal or mailing a check issued to the U.S. Treasury Department. Number five. The best solution to dealing with an IRS scam is to read more about IRS letters by visiting www.irs.gov. This way, you can familiarize yourself with the layout of an actual notice, its contents, as well as how to spot a potential fraud. Or contact the IRS support team at 1-800-366-4484, where a representative will assist you in verifying the notice. Should the notice be fake, you will also be given instructions on how to report the scam. IRS scams are no joke and can lead to serious financial damage should you fall victim to them. As always, it is best to coordinate with verified sources and take the time to do your own research before responding. For more information on how to spot a scam, I encourage you to visit www.consumer.ftc.gov forward slash scams for more information. Until next time, stay cyber safe.